What's up guys, Ronaldo here and welcome and yeah, it is finally time, it is finally time we get that update and therefore it's gonna be massive, we get a bunch of stuff, I'm excited, I hope you are too, now usually I don't really do these uh, update reviews or just videos in general about the updates, but I thought this is such a massive, massive update that I'm so excited about and many things that I'm excited about that I want to share here uh, I just want to go over with you guys and also I thought um, maybe you like it maybe you don't I will see it uh, in the comments and through the responses of the algorithm as well but yeah let me go over that update what we've got especially mainly what I believe is going to be amazing and first up this is going to be the arena update and that's the first amazing thing in my opinion now we had uh, some controversy um in re controversy eh, speak english ronaldo come on focus on um controversy did i say it right i hope i did anyways um in regards to the apex shop in terms of uh, how long it takes to get lady alexandra and so forth to that i have to say maybe it takes long for now but it's only reasonable from them to make it be a grind to get her right it's only reasonable because it's just like um let's say you're a teacher at school you should be strict at the beginning and then with the time you can soften up same with lady alex you know you can be uh strict with these coins at the beginning see how uh, community response how many coins they actually can accumulate and then make your decision there and get a bit softer with it you know give some bonus points there give some bonus coins there i think that's the right approach and i don't think she um, should be someone that um, you can get after a month i don't think that's the case i think she's an amazing unit i, I will make a video on her and i think she should be someone end game players can look forward to getting yeah uh, so uh, people like me that have played for over a year many of you guys have played for over a year right many people stick st or stuck through that game um, since it started because they are doing a good job so far um, and I just realized that lately when I started some other uh, gotcha games and while they didn't do some updates I was um, starting some other games and r realized um, these other games are we're quite blessed uh, with with watcher uh, let, let me and enter monetization let's let's just put it that way other games they be having certain stuff you know when when we as the community say hey moonton uh, that that's not nice that sucks uh, we can't have uh, we don't have enough resource in that aspect other games they leave these resources terrible up to terribly to be obtained and then they just demonetize these resources, which I haven't seen from Moonton so far at least. Um, but I'm drifting off. Uh, this is just something. Um, yeah, I realized. But yeah, I'm drifting off. Lady Alex, she's going to be amazing. Um, she's going to be the main thing from the Apex coin that you're going to get. Or trying to get your hands off from uh, the arena shop. There is also going to be... Um, much more in there uh, you can see I think you can see it even in here all right there there's the shop basically right you can also get the Silas the Silas exclusive artifact is in rotation as well uh, you have a bunch of nice things but it's mainly her you really want to save up for her uh, rather than the Silas artifact even though Silas artifact is great um, then we have also a few other things of course and um, the Heroes, there are a few buffs. Uh, mainly, we have Honora, we have um, Nisande, Giselle, Praetis, um, and the buffs I will go over specifically uh, on uh, other video because I have a certain uh, things I want to talk about on these buffs and what I believe will be the exact impact of these. Uh, more in depth than just broad on the on the update kind of video. Um, but then we have the gear, right? And the gear recommendation is so amazing, guys. I already played around with it a bit um, on the test server with the gear recommendation system. How you can customize everything. Uh, man, it's amazing. I mean, honestly, I'll just say it. I, I played this on Epic 7 lately. 
And man, how can you tell me Epic 7 has been here for six years? Watcher of Realms has been here for one year and you can sort the gear easily or find the proper gear more easy than if you're doing Epic 7 when they had six years to do so. Um, and that you can just customize it to your to what you whatever you want it's amazing and on top of that we will have in terms of the gear of course also the exclusive gear i already made some videos i already did some testing with how much exclusive gear you actually get from uh, hammering with azor uh, from forging uh, but the exclusive gear another big thing in terms of the gear gonna ramp up or change even be meta defining for some units like the <laughs> Um, Vierna especially is going to benefit a very, very much a lot from her exclusive gear. Um, Salazar also has a very nice gear. And then of course we have some more quality of life changes here as well. In terms of the filtering and everything. Everything's improved. Smoothness, frame rate. That's something that people, um, me included, have uh, felt like, okay, you know what. Sometimes we just have some lags. It's, it sucks. And they're working on it. Then, next thing. Guides are gonna follow, guys. Don't worry, guides are gonna follow. I've uh, done it already. Um, AMR 19 to 22. That will finally give us a way to get our hands on exclusive equipment, exclusive artifacts. Finally, we can farm exclusive artifacts. Finally, people can get their hands onto the likes of a hex artifact easily, right? Now, thinking of that, why would I? <laughs> do void drift now no i'm kidding but it is pico bello pico bello then you have some other changes uh, to some stages such as um, increasing the drop quality rate of the forging materials from gear rates from all the gear rates and gear dungeons so that's good you get more forge materials i mean before that i didn't really care that much about forge materials because they were not that big of a thing now with the exclusive um, gear coming they're going to be more important and having a higher rate on them is going to be good as well. Um, then arena monster stat adjustments. I think that's very good. Uh, in my opinion, they're too squishy. I mean, I've heard, uh, yeah, they're just too squishy. It might drag out the fights, but they're just too squishy. It's uh, just spawn trapping. Maybe they should also do some other arenas um, with different maps and it's going to be random. So. And not one team will be dominating that hard. Then Apocalypse 1 will be uh, easier. I'm not sure if that's needed. Um, but maybe it's going to be good for more newer players of course. Um, for the later players Apocalypse 1 is already um, not that hard. Since we kind of have all the gear and everything. But of course nice quality of life for the newer players. Um, some more changes to Apocalypse 1. And then Semra will... Get stronger once he has nine stacks. That's a change no one cares about. <laughs> Maybe a few um, high score hunters are gonna care about. I most certainly don't. You're not gonna get two thigh nine stacks. Um, most likely, if you do, you're well over the 120k for the highest um, chest, so you'll be fine. Then Aegis mode is gonna be changed. Big for the likes of uh, Lucius. Finally, Lucius has his time to be shining after that change and so will uh, Kigiri. So that's the big thing right there. And then we have optimized the stage Deity Soleil in Epilogue, reducing stage requirement for Pierce lineups. I assume they just nerfed her because people um, struggle too much on her. Um, yeah, it's fair. I mean, it's a hard fight, but it's, it's supposed to be one, right? Then we have the unpolished the legendary soul stones. Oh, oh man, <laughs> thinking of it. Also got to make a video on that as well. Um, basically, we're going to get legendary soul stones. Um, more legendary soul stones. And these uh, legendary soul stones can be used for awakenings on non-lord heroes. Because so far, uh, Lego soul stones you only want to use on lords. Makes sense. They're the rarest. Now we get specific soul stones. The red ones uh, for the uh, normal heroes. So likes of Silas will profit. Likes of Lust. Likes of... Um, Arrogance, Hex, these kind of units, uh, I can already tell you off the bat, is, are going to be um, contenders. Then we have some skins and achievements, and that's really more of it, really. That's mostly the most important things uh, covered. Uh, I think the biggest things definitely are going to be Samurai changes, Apex uh, change, 
new heroes, um, gear sets, and of course, uh, exclusive gear, forge. Yeah, there's so much. I mean, there's so much. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are excited too. I'm excited for <laughs> Lady Alex as well. Hope to get her soon, um, or not so soon. We'll see about that. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Are you guys just as excited for the update? Um, here you can see, and these are going to be used for your exclusive artifacts. And of course, we will have Celine. No, before I forget it, Celine will be short art summoning. She will have a um, uh, bond skill with Giselle. Huh? So that's amazing too. That's amazing too. We get another summoning. Now, as far as I remember, she's pretty bad, but I think she got a rework. I'm not sure. I really, I I can't tell you about if she's good or not. Let's just put it that way. Um, but yeah, with that said, that's my, my update video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for more because with that update, there's guides, there's uh, tier lists and everything that I need to prep. A um, lot of work. Love to see that. Always happy to have more to do than less. I wish you all a blessed day. I'm Ramal and I'm out. Peace.